Alright guys, in this video I just wanted to show you guys the, an issue with the Otel MP408 cables that come with the Otel system. Now you might get this on some models, some models might not have it at all. But it's an issue that is out there and it really messed up my diagnostics onto a car because I couldn't use my scope. So, the issue is that the cables themselves actually short out together. And I will show you that. So, here's one cable right here. Okay, we're gonna take and go on to resistance. We're gonna take and hook this lead up to this one. If I can, I'll put you guys down to do this. All right, so as you can see, I have my leads hooked up. Oh, turn you guys around. All right, so I have my leads hooked up. And as you can see, I am reading resistance onto my leads. Okay? Now you should never have resistance between your, your ground and your uh, signal sense wire onto your uh, oscilloscope. Now to go a little bit further, show you how shorted they are, I'm just going to take this guy. I am going to put him onto the negative battery terminal. I am going to take this guy and I'm going to plug him up. And now I'm going to take a test light and I am going to touch. And as you can see, my test light is hooked up to battery positive. This is my battery negative, and it is lighting up my test light. That is shorted, and it's shorted internally. Why, I have no idea, but I thought it was actually my scope box that was messed up, but that is okay. Now, just to show you guys, here is a, another wire kit that comes with the DMP408. I am going to take and do the exact same test. I'm going to take my ground from my multimeter, or well, my negative lead from my multimeter. I'm going to hook it up to my black. I'm going to take my red. I'm going to hook it up to my red. And I am still on resistance. And as you can tell, I am reading open. Now I'm going to do the exact same test. I'm going to take this guy. I'm going to hook them up to my battery negative. And I will take my test light. As you can tell, my test light is right here. And I will touch onto this cable on the inside. And nothing. So there's an issue with the wiring. And I just wanted to put it out there just in case anybody else has an issue with their maxi scope turning off or freezing or anything like that. So that was the issue with mine. I have two cables that are shorted out internally. I have one here and one here. I might have a third. I don't know. But that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. And if you did, please like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you guys next time.